Alright, hello guys, welcome to this tropical update. Today we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Dorian, which just developed. That's the one that was in the main development region and is headed towards Puerto Rico and Española. Also, we're going to talk about Invest 98L again, which is the one on the East Coast. And then we have Invest 90L, which is in the Gulf right now. So we're going to talk about those at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask you to subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description and the pinned comment. We have a Facebook group now which is super cool, go ahead and join that, that's going to be in the pinned comment down below. Now let's get right into things. We're looking at satellite imagery for Tropical Storm Dorian, not looking too hot right now but we do have some thunderclouds out there. I'm expecting this one to do just fine. It looks like it's going to develop into a category 1 hurricane at least, but I think a tr strong tropical storm is a safe bet. At this point now here's a NOAA's forecast for this one you can see we are at tropical storm status already we look to stay in tropical storm status till about at least into well into Tuesday and then by Wednesday at 2 a.m. we look to head into tropical or hurricane category one status but I really think that there's a, only about a 50% chance of that happening and then back into tropical storm status and it looks to hit the Dominican Republic and Haiti directly which Again, like I said in my earlier videos, this is best case scenario. It's going to hit those mountains and likely break up. If it goes to the north of Dominican Republic and misses that, it's going to probably develop further. Now, here's your spaghetti model guidance, and you can see most do have this one hitting directly into Haiti and Dominican Republic. Again, lots of mountains there. Would break this one up quite nicely. Uh, also, Puerto Rico gets hit directly on a few of these, but there is a few that take this one just missing. Haiti and Dominican Republic and with these spaghetti models they do update a lot and change where they're looking to take this one so it is possible still that this does not hit the Dominican Republic or Haiti at this point it just looks like the most likely outcome at this point now tropical storm Dorian according to the GEFS model which is the GFS ensemble model and all of these are just members of the ensemble model here and you can see all these little spaghetti noodles one of them you can see has it heading north of the Dominican Republic in Haiti and you can see that that one if you look at the right side of your screen this is the pressure has it developing into a lower pressure system so that kind of uh, proves my point that really if this misses those islands it's going to be able to develop better as this one it has it heading under uh, 110 and, and just above one, 105 here is 1005 actually, so 1005 millibars. Uh, if it heads north of the Dominican Republic, so that would be best news for it developing, but really the best news for us would be if it hits Dominican Republic and Haiti as a strong tropical storm. They're used to that. It wouldn't cause too much damage and wouldn't be able to develop any further. Now here's your intensity guidance. You can see we are at weak tropical storm status and the majority of them, I would say 75 or 80 percent of them, have this one developing further and heading towards strong tropical storm status or even category one status. About, I would say, 30 percent of them have this one eventually reaching uh, hurricane status at some point. But then there's about five of them that have it weakening from this point. We'll have to see what happens. I think it's going to intensify from this point, though. Here's my official forecast for tropical storm Dorian as of this point. You can see on the right hand side of your screen we do have the details so we're at 11.1 degrees north 52.1 degrees west that's the location we're at 40 mile per hour winds with a low pressure center of uh 1008 millibars movement is west at 13 miles per hour you can see we are moving closer and closer to some of those islands and it is heading further and further west and really in the cone of uncertainty puerto rico dominican republic and haiti are all on this you can see Haiti and Dominican Republic are right in the middle, so they look most likely, but it can go south, can go north, it can do whatever it wants at this point, and we don't really know where it's going to go until, until we get some updates. So we are going to make some updates as this one gets closer and closer and closer, but most likely it's going to hit Dominican Republic and Haiti at this point. Now we're going to get into 98L here, which is the one along the east coast. Here's your satellite imagery. You can see there is some tall thunderclouds in there. I believe they are going to send the hurricane uh, plane into there at some point later today, so we will get further updates for this one, but you can see it's, it's pretty far offshore of Florida now, and as we look at those spaghetti models, it does look to say well offshore of Florida or of the entire east coast and maybe hit Newfoundland and uh, as well as some of those other areas in Canada, like Nova Scotia, areas like that, so... 
or it could go further offshore and really not affect those areas. Hopefully that's the case, but it is possible that it does hit some of those really eastern regions in Canada. Now here's your intensity guidance for this one. You can see it does look to have about a 50% chance of becoming a tropical storm at some point, but there is another there is a 50% chance that it doesn't even reach tropical storm status and just stays under, which would be best news at this point. Now we're looking at satellite imagery for 90L, which is that thing we it's that tropical disturbance we've been talking about for the Gulf, and they finally turned it into an invest. I think it should have been an invest a long time ago, but it finally is an invest, and it is hitting those areas where we forecasted it to hit right in between Texas and Louisiana, and it is going to bring a lot of rain to these areas. So stay uh, prepared for that. There could be a lot of rain and possibly some gusty winds, but not nothing too major. I I don't believe so. Uh, it shouldn't be too big of a problem here, but a lot of rain can be associated with this one. And here's your here's your uh, spaghetti model for this one. You can see right in between Texas and Louisiana, and then it's going to kind of do that thing where it heads directly east over those Gulf states and then back into the Atlantic. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. If it heads back into the Atlantic, if it's going to develop any further, I don't believe it will. But it is possible that it heads into the southeast uh, southeastern United States, right offshore of Georgia, eventually, and then decides to develop from that point but at this point it's just a few scattered showers and thunderstorms that's basically what we have in the Atlantic right now now I did have a few announcements I did want to mention in this video at the end here if you did stay tuned for this you can go ahead and listen if you don't care you don't have to but there is a few cool announcements and I am gonna make a separate video on this today so we you can also just watch that but I did want to mention we do have a Facebook group you have probably heard about that called Weather Freaks. You can go ahead and join that. Again, that's in the pinned comment. We're going to have really cool discussions, and I am looking for admins and moderators at this point. I did find one, but we are looking for more because we do want to grow this into a, a bigger community of people that love weather and love talking about it and just kind of move it in the direction we want to move it in. Also, there's a few other announcements. You might have heard about this, but I doubt you have. We do have a, a YouTube, two different YouTube channels that are associated with direct weather that have just come out recently in the last month, but there hasn't been any content uploaded, so they only have about 20 subscribers. Direct Weather Europe and Direct Weather Canada, I have big plans for these, and I am looking for people to be able to help me with those channels or possibly even run them. So if you are interested in that, my contact email is in the bottom of my description. If you are, I would say over the age of 16, preferably or over 18, but if you are 16, in between 16 and 18, I might take you in if you are uh, very qualified for it, but preferably you're over 18 years old and you do know something about weather. Obviously, if you want to run the Direct Weather Europe channel, I would prefer that you do live in Europe. That would be preferable. And if you, if you live in Canada, that, that would be awesome. But if you live in the United States, I think you might have an idea of how Canadian weather works enough to where you'd be able to help with that channel a lot, make videos, and potentially even make money. So it is a good opportunity uh, for especially young people that just want to make YouTube content. There is some bonuses there, obviously. But I do want to get those channels going because I have a lot of viewers from Canada that have been asking, please make videos about Canada. So I went ahead and made a separate channel, actually, just for Canada. And hopefully that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm hoping that the quality is going to be just the same as this channel for Canada and as well as Europe. And I want to grow those because I've heard there isn't a lot of good Canadian weather YouTube channels. There might not even be any. I don't know. Uh, as well as Europe, I, I don't know if there's any good YouTube channels for that, but we want to bring the direct weather quality to those two different regions of the world and be able to make forecasts for you guys. So if you are interested in those positions or also to be a moderator in the Facebook group or just join the Facebook group, check the, again, the pinned comment. And if you are interested in the two channels, please contact me in the description at the bottom. You can find my contact email, direct weather contact at gmail.com I believe is what it's called so you can go ahead and click that and and you'll be able to email me uh, about just say you're interested and I will I'll probably strike up a conversation with you if you are interested in either of those positions and also I'm gonna stick the the Canadian the uh, direct weather Canada and direct weather Europe channels in the description or maybe even in the pinned comment where you can go and subscribe to those if you do live in those regions or if you just want to show support you can go ahead and subscribe just to get us rolling because we do have huge, huge plans for that. Again, I'm going to make a separate video on these two topics uh, later today, I believe. So 
stay tuned for that. I'll have more details there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for hearing me out on those announcements. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe during these tropical storms and invests. And I'll see you guys in the next video.